what kind of aspirations did your father have for you? Did he? I don't know. I was 19 when Daddy died, and uh, I think he wanted us to sing quartet and gospel for the rest of our lives. I think that was what that was. He didn't. He didn't have a great deal of anything, you know, like that. But, but your singing as a group was very important to him. Yes, very much so. He used to come and when he come from homework and um. Uh, and be tired, you know. He said, "Come on." He used to call me Sid. Come on, baby. Come on, Sid. Sing Daddy a song, you know, that kind of thing. Or say, "Y'all, come on, sing me a song, whatever." And we strike up a tune. We had no problem with it, you know, not at all. And when the, the sun went down, you came in the house. We didn't have we had no time out there with it, you know. Mm -hmm. In the summertime, you could stay until it got dark. Maybe and you, sit on the stoop. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and the your the group toured. You went. You played. We in went in the metropolitan area when we were younger, Atlantic City, Elizabeth, uh, Philadelphia. You know, those kind of places that, which were around home. But mostly we did a lot of churches around Newark, that kind of thing. So we did it all. Eventually we got on the road. We didn't like it. <laughs> Because we still had jobs. Most of the people of the quartets and, and singers that were on the road, that was their life. That was their living. We would learn to have jobs. We were taught that, you know, you had a job, and then this was an other, another thing that you could do, you know. Mm -hmm. And we made a little money, but you didn't make a lot of money at that time. Mm -hmm. Nobody was. I guess that's why they had to do it so, you know. Mm -hmm. But that was not our thing. We, uh... You wanted to be home. We wanted to be home, yeah, because most my older my older sisters and brothers had kids. Mm -hmm. So uh, 